G'day folks, it's Steve here and in this video I'm going to share with you how you can create one of those square meme-like videos that you see in your Facebook feed. I'll just uh, throw one up on the screen here. Boom. There we are. Um, here's an example from Russell Brunson. These square meme-like videos are getting crazy results on Facebook at the moment and we are predicting that uh, in the year ahead, you're gonna see more and more of them because marketers are getting awesome results. I've spoken to a few people, some of them are getting, um, one, one of them said that he was able to bring leads down from 10 to $15 all the way down to $1 a lead. And part of it was um, reworking how he was using his videos to use the header and subheader of these square videos. So really cool stuff, there's been, uh, yeah, some interesting stuff happening with these square videos. And I'm gonna show you in two programs how you can make them. Um, and we'll have the black bars up the top and at the bottom. Um, let's jump into it. So the first program that, let's get rid of my face. So the first program that I'm gonna show you how to do it in is uh, Final Cut Pro X. That is only available on the Mac. I'm also gonna show you how to do it in Hit Film Express for that one is available on the Mac and the PC, and it's free. It's just a little bit, a uh, little bit trickier. It's just not great with text that program, but it is doable and it is free. But first, Final Cut because I like working with Final Cut, and uh, if you're on a Mac, well, excellent. It's you're gonna have a good time. So, okay, so you're inside Final Cut. You've got your library ready to go. Let's open a new project. This is where the magic happens. Boom. Okay, so usually when you're opening up a project, you've got your uh, oh, I don't know, I don't know. square video. Usually when you're starting a project, you've got your file format and you'll just run with it as, as normal. In this case, we're gonna scroll down to custom. Bang, there we go. So now we wanna turn our resolution into a square. So let's make our height the same as the width. I don't really care about all the other stuff. You can choose that to suit what you are doing. And bang. Over to our right is um, is our viewer. And as you can see, if I drop a video in, we will have, uh, let's put this guy in. There we go. Bang. Oh, look at that. We've got our black bars at the top and the bottom, and we've got a square aspect ratio video. It is as easy as that. And then if you're working inside of this program, putting text in is just as easy. Oh boy, let's find one that I like to work with. Basic title, fantastic. There's nothing too tricky about these. Drag it over your um, over your timeline. Uh, and we just grab our title and put it up there. C, control V, control C, control V, beautiful. And would you look at that? You have now got your title at the top and bottom and you edit them up. And then you can edit that text as much as you like, but you have got a square video that is ready to get up onto uh, up onto Facebook. Um, I would recommend exporting this. When you go to export it, I would recommend exporting it to a master file. Um, that way it will keep your aspect ratio. If you try and upload that directly to Facebook or to uh, YouTube, I haven't tested it, but I suspect it might throw out your aspect ratio to you. So to export it to master file and pick it up off the desktop and upload it from there is probably the best way to do that. I did a test, it works quite nicely. So that is awesome. That's if you're using a Mac. Let's jump into HitFilm Pro and see if I can figure this thing out again. It's a little bit trickier, but um, I got it to work as you can see. So let's open up a new project, boom. Top left here, click on new. And then usually what happens when you open up a um, new project, you'll, you'll get some um, preset settings. Uh, we wanna run with some custom settings, so just drop down to custom and we wanna make it square, so we want the height to be the same as the width. Um, that looks good to me. You can go full uh, 1080 by 1080 if you want. I'm just gonna do 
720. Um, so from our options down here, you want to click on start compositing because we're going to add some layers of text and whatnot. The editing section inside of this program is, is more focused on editing your footage. Um, the compositing section is for layering and compositing. So start compositing. Wonderful. I'm just going to change my layout here. Uh, by clicking on view, workspace, and classic. Yeah, it just puts everything where I know where it is. Fantastic. So as you can see, we have got our square layout. Um, let's use that to make some magic happen. Uh, let's bring up the Finder. I've got a little video here. I'm going to drag that into my little video library off to the left. Awesome, awesome. So we've got a little video. Let's drop this into our layers section. And fantastic, we've got video inside of our square layout. Uh, let's scale up this video to fill up the screen. So down uh, on that arrow, uh, down on that transform arrow, and let's just increase the scale property. This isn't the best video because it's actually kind of square itself. But anyway, we will still have some room for our text bars above and below. Awesome. There we go. So as you can see, we've got a video there and we've still got some space to throw out text. So how do we do the text? Well, this program isn't the best for doing text, but it is possible. Um, up over here, you can see we've got a couple options. Click on the A, which is the text tool, and then drag out a little box. And beautiful, we can write our text in here. Fantastic, how good is that? Good smell. Milk. Yep, there we go. And I'm gonna go on my arrow so I can just move it around. Oh, oh and you know what I need to do? Uh, let's go to our text options and just center her up. Oop. Center it up, of course. Beautiful. Um, and by clicking on that text option there, that's where you can scale up and change sizes and whatnot. You want to add another layer of text, you can copy and paste that layer and drag it down below. Double click on it uh, or something like that. I can double click on the layer, I think. Oh, maybe not. There we go. Makes you vote. Exclamation mark. There we go. How good is that? How good is that? And then when you're done, um, hit export. Yeah, so when it's done, it's time to export. Um, I would encourage exporting it to your desktop before sending it up to Facebook just to make sure that all your aspect ratio and all your size and everything is looking good. So that is how you create your square meme looking video for the Facebook feed. Um, and like I said, they are getting some crazy results. And like I said, they are getting crazy results with engagement, um, which is drastically pushing down the cost of leads for, uh, for some campaigns that I have seen. So like I said, if you want more information on how to make persuasive marketing video, head over to millsmotion.com, link in the description below. There I show you how video literally can control your mind and embed thoughts. It's crazy. I've also got a, uh, a promotional video sales formula that you can use to help you break down your pitch inside of your videos. Um, hit that one up. That's got a downloadable there and a video to go with it. Um, I've got some tips on shooting your product videos. Um, an interesting article on how Pixar makes you cry and how their secret can be used to increase your sales and a bunch of other really cool stuff like how to tell stories that opens people's wallets. Hit us up over there and drop your name and your email address for the latest insights into creating persuasive videos. So hit us up. If you're inside of the YouTube app, you can click on that link and it will open up the web page inside of your app. So you can drop your name and your email address in there and you can get all of my insider secrets that I only reveal to my email subscribers. And if you are a business owner or a marketer and you want to get better return on investment for your next marketing campaign, you can hit me up there as well at millsmotion.com. You can find my email address on that site. Um, we do the sales copywriting 
for promotional videos, for VSLs, and for campaigns in general. Um, so you can hit us up there as well if you are looking for better return on investment for your next marketing campaign or if you've got something really exciting that you want to bring to market, um, hit us up there at millsmotion.com.